Budget Blinds. Visit their showroom or call today for a free in-home consultation. This is New Cap News with Bart Pityasek. A 49-year-old Lloydminster man is facing charges after RCMP found crack cocaine as well as a stolen 40 caliber rifle in his possession. The new crime unit reduction, the new crime reduction unit rather, which patrols high crime areas, were investigating Bradley Ham's vehicle when they found that he had a suspended license and an outstanding warrant. Ham is facing charges including two counts of failing to comply with a probation order, possession of a controlled substance, and four firearm offenses. Well, as Lloyd Minster's population ages, one group has rising concerns about how prepared the city is to take on take to take care of seniors. Now, over the summer, part of the Dr. Cook Extended Care Center was closed down. Part of that building is still in use. But as Jeremy Thompson reports, there are renewed calls to make use of the whole facility. The old wing at the Dr. Cook Extended Care Center sits empty. Over the summer, it was closed down. Its residents moved to a new facility. But now, the newer portion is facing scrutiny. This spring, they failed a performance audit done by AHS. Keep in mind, when we do an audit, it's pretty black or white. So every time a resident is bathed, the uh, care worker has to record the temperature of the bathing water. If there was even one day that was missed, then they would view that as not being compliant, even though all the other 364 days were met. AHS looked at the Dr. Cook again in August. That time, all care standards were met. But Roy Clark with the Concerned Citizens for Senior Care Group says he has other concerns after reading a 2014 AHS report that details recommended repairs for the entire facility. Actually, as it turns out, when I go through the report, uh, the biggest dollar value that we need to spend is on the new wing. Clark says the old wing needs about $100,000 of renos, while the newer side requires nearly $1 million in repairs. The roof is well over $900,000 is what the report identifies it. Um, and of course, don't forget the report's a couple of years old. But nothing in the evaluation suggests either wing is unfit for use, leaving Clark wondering why the old wing is vacant. He says the space could be used for programs Lloydminster doesn't currently offer. We're missing things like respite, transit, uh, transition uh, uh, beds, um, uh, things like palliative care. We have a facility that could uh, uh, go a long ways towards helping to relieve that. But for now, there are no plans to reopen the old wing. Jeremy Thompson, Newcap News. Well, it's the season to be jolly again, and what better way to welcome a holiday spirit than participating in the Border City's biggest Christmas event. The 8th annual Here Comes Santa Claus Day is expected to see the largest turnout to date. <laughs> Organizers say many locals will likely take advantage of the festivities because of the economy. Everything is uh, downtown, and all activities are free. The economy the way that it is, we were lucky to find a lot of sponsors to get behind. Uh, this day, although we've grown it each year, we maybe haven't grown it to the extent this year that we would like to, but we're really happy that the businesses who stepped up wanted to sponsor it and saw this as a really important day. Now, from gingerbread houses to hayrides to fireworks, all the much enjoyed activities will be returning once again. You can win a lot of prizes downtown this year. And although we don't have a trip to Disneyland, we do have a trip to see the Edmonton Oilers uh, in December. So that'll be a that'll be a fun one. Uh, possibly the most anticipated guest, Santa Claus, will be present throughout the day. Price says the joy he brings to his children is always contagious. He's always such a big draw, and he always brings such energy with him wherever he goes. And to see the smile on the kids' faces when Santa Claus gets there, and also I think the Grinch brings something as well. And here comes Santa Claus will kick off on December 5th. For a full list of activities, you can visit 959lloydfm.com.